Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be painting this floss in a nice Christmassy colourway. I have here some scarlet that I have uh, put in solution. I didn't measure out how much dye I put in here. I just used the end of a spoon and then mixed it with some warm water. And I've got here some lime pop, which again, I didn't measure out. I just took the end of a spoon and just mixed it with a bit of water. I didn't want too much. And uh, because this is a cotton, this is cotton, this is a plant-based fiber. You have to use um, fiber reactive dyes. You can't use acid dyes for this. And uh, it ne it's been soaking in soda ash and water for a couple of hours. All the equipment that I've used today has been dedicated for dyeing. I don't ever use it for food. And I've got this floss on some cling film, which is on a, a towel on my table. So hopefully I won't have any spillages. I think that looks quite good. I'm happy with this. So what I'm going to do, because this is a fiber reactive dye and an animal and, and, and a plant-based fiber, this doesn't need heat, it just needs time. So I'm just going to wrap it up and leave it for the next 48 hours at least and then we can wash this. It's been about a week now, over a week. Yes, I did this uh, last Monday and it's now Wednesday. Uh, plenty, plenty of time for this dye to set to the yarn. And there wasn't really much left on this cling film, which is great. There's always gonna be a bit of runoff. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of green coming out there, but that's what happens with cotton and uh, fiber reactive dyes. So what I'm doing now is just adding a little bit of washing up liquid and I'm gonna soak this in water for, uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. There's not that much water coming off, not much water, not, not, not much dye coming out of this. So hopefully this won't take too many soakings and I just soak it in water and then leave it for anything from about 10 minutes to several hours until, I, and I just do that until the water runs clear. And here is my finished Christmas floss which I don't think is particularly Christmassy. I didn't use anywhere near enough red dye, which is why it's this sort of pinky colour rather than a nice punchy Christmas red. And I love Lime Pop. <laughs> I really love this colour, but it doesn't sort of scream Christmas to me. Uh, this floss here was used, was dyed with the same green, the same red, sorry, as this one. I made up, I made up a batch of that scarlet and used it for a couple of different projects and uh, I used new emerald green in this in this one I think that new emerald green is a lot more Christmassy than lime pop what do you think about this uh, let me know down in the comments I quite like how we've still got the stripes there is some white left I guess that could be sort of frost or snow if you like and actually I really love this little bit here where the two colours have blended and made a really nice sort of warm orangey colour which I think looks lovely and it, it is a bit sort of candy cane-ish this with the the small patches of white in amongst the the colours so yeah I think I think it's it is a little bit festive just not quite in the way that I was expecting it to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you think of this floss. Does it scream Christmas to you? Or is, does, does it have a different feel to you? I th Now that it's sort of wound up like that, I think it looks a bit more summery to me. <laughs> Wrong time of year. Oh, actually, no. My husband's family are all in Australia, so it could be their Christmas themed <laughs> um, I publish a new dyeing tutorial every Monday around about 6 p.m uk time and I do like to experiment with different things I like to do experiment with different colors and fiber types sometimes I'll just 
make something up as I go along without any thought into it whatsoever. Other times I do plan a bit more uh, and you can tell which ones I've planned because there's definitely more structure to those videos than just chucking it all in and seeing what happens. So there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.